Hey everybody, it's been a super long time. Summer has been going by so fast. I took a little bit of a vacation and before you know it, you're still doing chores outside and the days are getting shorter. Well, I figured it'd be time to do my first trimester update and man is time just flying by I can't even believe it every time that I turn around another week has gone by and I figured I better get this video out before I freaking have gone into labor or something I don't know so I have kind of all this stuff in my phone so sorry that I'm gonna look down a bit but I'm not gonna be able to remember all this stuff um so week one to four I did have some implementation bleeding. Oh, this video might be TMI for some people, which is too late now, so just hang in there because it's probably, that was probably the worst, I don't know. Then I was really tired, it felt like I was in a tumble dryer. And then I had, okay, I always get sore boobs, but this time there was like a level two sore boobs and that was kind of intense. Um, I started having more intense dreams like I just remember more I guess where they seem like longer dreams and then I don't know if this is actually related to pregnancy but they say that when you drool you drool more in pregnancy but I actually had this like little while where I gleeked all of the time if you don't know what gleeking is it's like when you spit from underneath your tongue I don't know pretty random but that was happening to me then I think basically straight away like probably at week five I was getting bloating so I felt like I was like showing super fast even though there wasn't like really anything to show yet but like I was always constantly bloated and that probably lasted till 12 weeks and then I started like actually getting a shape but man I'm telling you then I also had sore armpits in week five until about week eight and like the best way to describe it is like I didn't even like putting on antiperspirant like it just felt weird or like sore then this one is kind of weird too um this probably lasted till about 11 or 12 weeks too it's just my teeth always felt dirty like there's no good way to describe it it was just a really uncomfortable feeling I went through three different toothbrushes and three different toothpastes and I just couldn't get my teeth clean. I know that's kind of weird. Um, then another one was I was kind of hungry and full at the same time till about 11 weeks. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like I was just like all, everything was like full but I was like hungry. I'm actually still kind of like that I guess. Like you're just... Oh, I you're all crunched together inside but it seems like your stomach is like this big instead of like before and you can feel it growling mmm poor me um, my nausea was actually kind of out of control um, it was probably the worst thing out of my first trimester um, I was honestly nauseous 50% of the time that I was awake so if I was awake for 16 hours a day, I'd be literally nauseous every other hour. Um, and I wouldn't even say that it would go away. It would be more less <laughs> nauseous and then more nauseous. Like there was just levels. I remember literally there was um, one hour that I wasn't nauseous. I'm like, oh, I'm not nauseous. I don't feel disgusting. But sure enough, it comes back. But like just that one hour break, I remember was such a relief because after a while it kind of wears you down you start thinking like oh I always feel sick this is terrible I don't want to feel this way anymore why am I always sick but it does go away thank goodness for me anyway then I also used to take naps from 5 15 till 6 after work because I work from 7 till 5 and I would come home and I would just be exhausted and I still have to come and make supper clean up after supper, do a couple chores, and then maybe go on the internet for a little bit. You know, I was just worn out. So just to give me kind of like a second wind till bedtime, that really helped. Um, what else happened? I used to have like 
30 second mood swings. I was happy, sad, or cry, but it was like, I wouldn't even say it was 30 seconds. It'd be like 10 seconds. I'd like watch a sad ad and I'd be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and like, I'd be like, huh. Like it was kind of like, you know how fast a sneeze goes? I'd be like upset that quickly and then fine, or happy, happy, and then fine. Like, it was the weirdest thing. I would just be like, huh, fine, or like, hoo hoo, and then I don't even know how to describe that. It sounds crazy. Um, the smells that set me off was the Febreze, the kind in the bathroom. I would just not have that. Wet dog smell, ripe fruit, which really killed me because I was like loving uh, ripe fruit and vegetables I would leave it on my counter and like whatever smelled good to me I would have as like a snack or for supper or for lunch and then all of a sudden I had to get rid of all of it because like I just couldn't eat it anymore so I chopped it all up and put it in the freezer I for some reason froze cucumbers and I don't think you can do that so I have to throw that out but the rest are all going in my smoothie so like at least I didn't waste it but it made me sad that I didn't have my fresh stuff around anymore actually no I wasn't sad because they made me feel really sick so I guess I was happy um the smell of cooking meat was disgusting um like or hot dogs like you know raw hot dogs that people put on the barbecue you can't pay me money to come close to that um my perfume I actually had to like find a body spray that was very unoffensive to me, I I don't know, I went through, I probably have about 15 different sprays and one of them didn't make me sick. Um, then morning breath, sometimes my hubby would talk to me and like, just like, the first thing in the morning, that is usually a bad smell, but like this could like make me sick. Um, and then of course, cigarette smoke. If I walk by somebody that was just like the worst smell in the world. Um, kind of something else that I suffered in the fifth week was like stuffiness or allergies. Excuse me, it was just like I was always stuffed up or like I just felt stuffed up around here. I've never had allergies, but I guess it's a common thing to get allergies. Um, when you're pregnant, in week six, I started sleeping in different positions. I religiously... Um, slept on my side for like the last I don't know eight years on my left side and that's all I would do I would sleep on my left side and that's that now I'm like upside down sideways backwards this way that way I'm sleeping all crazy positions I'm not really quite sure but that was I know that's kind of weird because I never used to sleep in different ways and then um, at week eight I had a doctor's appointment and my doctor actually took me off of prenatal because he thought that was actually what was making me so nauseous because of the iron levels in prenatal and I have to admit I did go off of them and I did feel a lot better but I was still taking some um well it's not medicine what is it called vitamins so I don't know um another weird one is tailbone pain I don't know how to describe this in any other way but it's like, let's say I have a tailbone, it's like somebody is pressing or pulling on it and pushing on it at the same time. Like it's like someone's trying to break it off inside of my body. And the worst is probably like when you're getting up or walking. Ugh, I hate that. Um, in week eight, I actually had some spotting and that was really scary. I thought I was having a miscarriage. Um, but everything was okay. It was only literally like three spots and I like Googled it and they said not to worry about it as long as you're not like bleeding excessively or to monitor it. And I didn't have any other problems and I was actually going to the doctor like a couple days later but like nothing else happened. And I took a pregnancy test um, like two weeks later to make sure that I'm still pregnant and everything was fine. Um, so I was actually pretty worried until my first ultrasound, but everything seemed to be okay. Um, then also I was getting cramping at the same time, which is quite alarming. But I actually still get cramping, and it's just less noticeable. It's definitely not like PMS whatsoever, because then I would probably be on the floor crying all of the time. But it's just like little cramps, um, kind of. It's kind of if I move the wrong way, like scrunch to the side and like straighten up too fast or something, I kind of have this like cramping sensation. 
Um, I definitely went through this phase where I was sneezing once a day. It's kind of random. Every day around like two or three at work, I would sneeze once and that's it. Um, there was times when my stomach would be really sore and like there's no better way to describe it than it being gas. I don't know. Like my gas would hurt my body. It's kind of like your body's a balloon and then somebody filled it up too full. Yeah, it's kind of gross to talk about, but I'm being serious. It's going to hurt. Um, well, it did for me anyway. The next thing that is kind of gross is that I got BO. I changed to some like hippie, I don't know, antiperspirant with no aluminum because I think that's better for me. But I seriously have to reapply this stuff like four times or you're going to smell me coming. And that's kind of like gross. Kind of. Then also peeing started happening at night and my all time record is four. I was super duper tired and I went to bed at like 10 and I slept until like nine. So like I was basically in bed for like 11 hours. Oh, I still remember the warmth of the bed that day. But I actually had to pee four times. That's my all time record so far. Around week 10, I started getting forgetfulness and it's not even that I forget things, it's like it's white noise or not even noise, there's nothing. It's looking into a field of complete nothingness. There's not even chirping of crickets, it's absolutely nothing, there's nothing for your brain to think about. It's just complete forgetfulness. Um, I kind of got thirsty up until week 12 sometimes. Um, I was waking up hungry, like hungry, hungry, like your stomach's growling hungry. And then also my heartburn started and I hear it's going to stay. So once that starts, hang on for that. Um, I am a migraine sufferer and I actually suffered a 13 hour migraine. It was really terrible. I thought my brain was ripping into pieces and I put like ice packs because you can't really take anything and I ended up puking after that and then of course I had like four or five different areas where I had developed like little acne patches or something and like kind of like skin dots, rashes, I don't know like raised skin bumps and it was really gross um, but that seemed to have cleared up. Then um, the total amount of times that I vomited, yes I kept track, was six times and I name something a near miss and that's five times and that's when you like dry heave but you don't puke so vomit six near miss five and the biggest problem is sometimes you dry heave and that's what makes you sick but um from what i hear i had it pretty easy some people throw up every day so i'm actually pretty thankful um other things that i guess are pretty normal is taking extra pregnancy tests like i just until I got my first ultrasound, like you don't, like things are going on with your body. But then mine kind of stopped at 12 and a half weeks. But then my ultrasound, um, I had ultrasound at, oh no, I think I started feeling better at 11 and a half weeks or something. And I didn't have my ultrasound for another week. So you just start getting nervous. Um, yeah, so I was scared when my nausea passed and then my ultrasound visual was a real, it made everything not seem real, but like I felt okay and like, I don't know, it's just, it helps conceptualize and I put the picture next to my bed so I see it all of the time. Um, I'm using cocoa butter on my stomach right now and like a bio oil knockoff from Superstore. And they seem to be working. I only have two tiny little patches on my stomach that might be stretch marks. The stuff that I wish people told me was just like the stomach discomfort and pain. And like obviously there's going to be some discomfort. But like sometimes it's pretty intense. Like not like curling up. But like it hurts. And I wish somebody told me that. Um, the other thing is you have trouble going to the bathroom. Like seriously go buy some plum juice. It's going to be your best friend. Like... Ugh, I don't know. Um, and then the other thing that nobody told me and like it worried me in the beginning is like your kind of 
your discharge, ugh, sorry, it kind of changes um, with your body and with your estrogen levels and with your hormones and that's normal and nobody bothered telling me stuff like that so um so eight weeks i had my first doctor's appointment it was about an hour and a half long i met with kind of like a prenatal dietitian slash what you need to know lady and she actually had me for an hour and she predicted when um we'll be having labor what food to eat what to exercise and our family backgrounds and stuff like that um, any risks what we could be expecting and then we waited for another 15 minutes and then I met with my doctor for the first time and we didn't really cover that much um, my second appointment was at 12 weeks and he just basically did a Doppler which is like a sound system on your stomach so you can hear the baby but we didn't hear anything yet and then I had an ultrasound at 12 and 13 weeks. That's kind of like your pre-screening area. And the baby was facing the wrong way both times. So that kind of sucked. Um, I do have two pictures. Let me just get them. So this is from, it's a little dusty. This is from my first ultrasound, and like you can see, he's laying on his neck there. So um, they kind of have to measure that neck tissue. So it's better if they stand up, kind of up and down, but mine just wouldn't move. And this one, he's kind of like a break dancer, and he's like on his head there, busting to move. So this one is next to my hubby's bed. And since I haven't done a belly shot yet, I'll show you, but I'm a little bit bigger than I should be because I'm actually 18 weeks right now. So I'm four weeks after my first trimester or three, depending how you count. So I will show you, hopefully you can see me because I'm not sure. So here is, or like here's with my clothes. So I do kind of wear baggy clothes now because it's more comfortable. So like you can tell, obviously. Okay, and then here is my belly. So obviously I have a, a little bit of belly. I'm still wearing my normal pants, but I honestly think I'm like on the last legs of that because yeah, it's not that comfortable anymore. And here's the front. I actually do have some firmness, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so that's my first trimester update. Sorry for taking so long. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments or questions below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Mwah.